The go to pitch from Ganey. One on this. Strikeout number four for Garrett Ganey out of the bullpen. Strike three called on the inside corner. Pitch. Strike three called on the outside corner. Yeah, that was a great breaking ball. 2-0 to Chufo. Hit well. Left center field. Does it have enough? Brewer back to the wall. Look at it. We'll see the ball. So walk it off in Columbia. And give the Tigers a Palmetto Series win in game one. Okay, so we've been talking about bat flips and whether or not they should be allowed. And I'm going to preface this with saying that this is coming from a hitter's perspective. I was a hitter as a player. So a lot of people recently have been saying that the bat flips are getting out of control and let's get rid of them. And you have some people that are saying they're okay. But I'm watching this game, and this is Clemson, South Carolina. So big rivalry game, two teams ranked in the top 25. We're in the bottom of the 11th. It's a tie score 4-4. to And I've got to watch this South Carolina reliever here strike batters out and and do this stuff around the field. If if I'm a hitter and I get struck out to a guy that's going to then skip around the mound like this, like this is when I come back and say, forget about the bat flip rules. If I hit a home run off this guy, I should be allowed. If he's going to prance around the mound after strikeouts, then I should be allowed to do whatever I want to do. I can throw my bat as high and as far as I want. I can dance around the bases as much as I want. Why am I going to get in trouble when this guy's going to strike me out and I've got to watch him do this? I was getting so mad watching this. So he does this here. Then he's going to strike out another guy. And, you know, you can't see it because he gets out of the video here. But, like, look at him screaming and... He's going to go fist pump, I guess, here. And he's dancing all over the place. And then we go to the 12th inning, and we're still tied. He's going to strike out another guy. And he's going to do this. Like, I don't know what this move is right here, walking around like this. So you better believe if I'm up 2-0 here a few batters later, and I go 420-plus feet to center field for a walk-off home run, you better believe... I should be able to flip my bat, do cartwheels, skip around the bases. Because that guy's been showboating for the last two innings. And I've never understood this. I get mad all the time at pitchers because they think that they can scream and yell after strikeouts and fist pump and everything. And then once a batter hits a home run and bat flips, they cry. They sit there and they cry and they pout and they say, you can't do that to me. I'm going to hit you. So I know we talked yesterday about how the bat flips have to get toned down. And I know there's no way to put a rule in like this, but there should be a rule. If you're going to skip around the mound after you strike me out, then I'm allowed one free bat flip. I can flip it and dance as much as I want. So let me know what you think about my new rule and let me know what you think about the pitcher's reactions after strikeouts. That's all I've got. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. And we'll talk to you later.